Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it's testing day and I have the new Cobra Rad Speed drivers. For today's test, I'm going to compare the Rad Speed, the Rad Speed XB, and the Rad Speed XD. So the Rad Speed driver, the radial weighting is all pushed towards the front of the driver, so it's kind of your low spinner, very fast ball speed club where the Rad Speed XB driver, that club has a little bit more weighting towards the back of the club to increase the MOI of the club and make it a little bit more forgiving. And then finally today what I'm going to test is the Rad Speed XD. That has weighting in the back but also in the heel of the golf club to make it a little bit more draw bias, make it a little easier for players to turn that ball over. So, for today's test, I'm going to hit five shots with each driver. These are all 10.5 degree driver heads with the same golf shaft. This is going to be, be the Matori F1 speeder shaft. So this is the new, one of the new stock options from Cobra in 2021 with the Rad Speed drivers. Got the Titleist Pro V1X golf ball and I'm really excited to take a look at the numbers and kind of see what everything kind of tells us. If you haven't done so as well, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also give us comments and likes on our videos. We really appreciate the feedback. We've got plenty more content coming your way. I'm excited to test these drivers out and see what the comparisons tell us. To start off, I'm going to hit the Rad Speed XB driver. It's a little bit more on the forgiving side and the heavier weight is more pushed towards the back of the club. So the MOI is going to maybe be a little bit higher. You may expect this ball to maybe fly just a little bit on the higher side and maybe spin a little bit more. My face a little open on that one, but it's fine. Be perfect to transition to the draw version next. So I just hit five shots with the XB driver. I was carrying the ball really far. I think it was over 290, 292.2. So that's a very high carry for a maybe a little bit more forgiving model. Um, my club speed was right about 111 miles an hour, so I'll try and keep that very similar as I test the other two drivers and compare the differences. My ball speed at 165, so very, very efficient. Um, so didn't really have too many miss hits at all with this particular model. The spin rate was about 2320 on average. So as I test the other two, I may expect that the uh, XD driver might have a little bit more of a draw bias to it may spin a little bit less, but still be a little bit higher on in the air. Where the Rad Speed driver, the standard driver, I may expect that to spin a little bit lower and maybe just chase out just a little bit further there as well. One thing I noticed when I was testing today is I was leaving the ball a little bit to the right. So if you take a look at my dispersion pattern here, I was just leaving the ball a little bit to the right. And that's just partly to do with that club face being about three degrees open. That's just more me, but it's going to be a great time for me to maybe transition to testing this XD driver out that's going to be a little more draw bias and see if there's any differences here too. So next driver to test is going to be the Rad Speed XD. tell you that one wasn't as far to the right. That was pretty nice there. Okay, so five more shots. This was with the Rad Speed XD driver. 
One thing I did notice is I was hitting it a little bit straighter, and we'll touch on that dispersion pattern here in, in a second. Um, so my club speed was basically identical. So it's a very, very te fair test. We're talking 111 versus 111.2. Um, so we'll notice my ball speed was just a little bit less. Um, so I lost a little bit less ball speed, didn't quite maybe catch it in the middle of the face as much. We're talking smash factor dropping by 0.1, so it's not like it's a major difference or anything. But that just shows the level of forgiveness on this model here as well. Um, with the ball curving a little bit more to the left versus to the right, the ball did launch just a little bit on the lower side. But what's interesting is the spin rate still stayed fairly high. When I'm saying high, it's for me, I'm usually spinning it around about 2,000 with a driver. We're talking 2,450, so pretty excellent numbers overall. Um, my carry distance just dropped just a little bit because the ball was getting on the ground just a little bit faster versus staying in the air a little bit longer with the uh, XB driver. Um, so the height was just down a little bit there. If we take a look at the dispersion pattern, we can kind of see how a little bit more erratic. You can see how I didn't leave the face open as much with this particular model, but you'll notice the dispersion pattern was a little bit wider there as well. I would like to see that a little bit tighter, but it did give me confidence to know that I could turn the ball over a little bit easier with the Cobra XD driver. So finally, I'm going to test a driver that may spin a little bit less, may go a little bit further if I keep all my other numbers the same, and that is the rad speed driver. So I'm going to hit five more shots, and then we'll take a look at the numbers and compare them all. So five shots with the Cobra Rad Speed Driver. One thing I noticed was the fluctuation a little bit. So my miss hits, I got a little bit more punished with this particular model. Now, don't get me wrong, the great shots with this drive were, were definitely going the furthest. We, we noticed there's a couple of drives. Hit one that carried 297 going 322, almost 323. So that's pretty deep for me. But then I also noticed that I had one that I left the face a little bit open that only carried 284 going 302. So it's a little bit more of a wider fluctuation in distance. And then we'll see that a little bit in the dispersion, how the dispersion got a little bit wider. But the general sense was this driver did give a little bit more ball speed. So we're talking about two miles an hour more ball speed, 166.8 on average. Um, the spin rate was a little bit on the lower side. Now, I mentioned fluctuation. There was fluctuation with the spin. Let we look at the spin I had three that were under 2,000. So three where I would expect with this particular model, the ball spun a little bit less. But then you will notice a couple there, one at 2,800, one at 2,400, a little more on the higher side there as well. So a little more fluctuation, but this model definitely is your lower spinning model. When you're hitting it really well, your swing's in sync, no doubt that this ball is, the ball's gonna go a little bit further and spin a little less with the rad speed model there too. So we take a look at the dispersion pattern here real quick. We'll notice that you can see that purple circle was just a little bit more on the, the wider side. We'll notice I had one that I turned over a little bit easier, one left the face a little bit more open as, as well to, to the right. And then I had three that were pretty good. We'll notice those three purple dots were just a little bit further than those white dots. So it was definitely going a little bit further, chasing out a little bit further as well. So, this is definitely your, your distance gainer, the Rad Speed. The uh, Rad Speed XB, so the weight in the back is definitely going to be a little more on the more forgiving model, where the XD is going to be a little bit more kind of draw bias model, a little bit easier to turn the, the club over as well. So I did notice just a little bit different in look when looking down at the three of them. So the Rad Speed is a little bit more compact look. Now all models are 466 cc's. Just the rad speed's a little bit more compact where the XB and the XD are a little bit more, a little larger profile, but still the same size. It's just the weight's pushed back a little bit on the drivers. So I did notice slight, slight sound differences. I feel like they were all 
fairly pretty loud, but I just noticed that it just felt like when I hit the rad speed, it just sounded like it was hot. It sounded like the ball was going really far. Um, one thing I also want to touch on real briefly too is the look of the club. So there are a couple of different color options with regards to finish, finish with these. There is your red pea coat, and there also is the black turbo. So the black turbo um, is essentially, you've got some yellow going on the back and then there's a more of a matte or a glossy finish. With the pea coat, there's more red on the bottom. So it's kind of an interesting model and they both come in the gloss and the matte finish. Now I was testing with the gloss finish. I did get the chance to hit the matte finish a couple of days ago and I personally like the look of the matte finish. I think it looks a little bit cleaner and maybe not quite as shiny when you're playing outside there as well. But I'm excited to see how the Cobra Rad Speed drivers, the Rad Speed, the XB and the XD all perform in fittings and out on the golf course for all the players. I think it's gonna be a great year for Cobra. Also keep in mind, we do take trades. So if you notice the numbers with the new Cobra Rad driver are better than your current driver, we will take your driver in for trades and it will help offset the price and reduce the price down a little bit for you there. We do offer the best, best in industry pricing on trades at Second Swing online and in the stores. So come on in to our stores or talk to our fitters online at secondswing.com. No doubt the Cobra Radspeed is going to be awesome in 2021. I'm excited to see how it performs in your hands.